phone really that important to spend time on it in a public park? It's my phone. Why do you care? Well, you kind of just spend two hours straight on it, like in a public park. Wait, what? Exactly. And you, alongside most of society around the world, are way too dependent on technology. Come with me. So, what's wrong if I'm on the phone all the time? Um, there's quite a bit wrong with that, actually. Firstly, it completely changes how teenagers socialize with each other. A study in the UK shows that for children who spend more than four hours of time on, on electronic devices are less likely to be able to socialize with other children than those who spend a mere less than an hour on an electronic device in their houses. This not only means that children who use technology actively are less likely able to socialize, but they also lose their general mental well-being, which means that they also empathize less with others. So rather than actually feeling sorry for someone, for, for a lost cause of someone, they would just simply say, sorry for your loss, post it on Facebook, and then just keep on scrolling. So, what's wrong with technology? Let's people meet other people without even getting out of the house. That's not necessarily a good thing. A, pedi a pediatrician states that child obesity is a rising epidemic, and this is primarily caused by electronic devices such as mobile devices and computers. For every 10% a country invests into technology, the obesity rate in that country rises by 1%. That doesn't seem like a lot until you realize that's 4.2 million people in the United States. This is a huge problem because obesity leads to many other diseases such as cancer, heart attacks, and much more. And the statistics get even worse once you start realizing that one in three people in the United States, New Zealand, Australia, and Canada all are obese. Well, how do I know that, that all of this that you're saying is true? You could be lying to me. Well, I've come into contact with many experts and here's what one of them says about the issue about technology. Hello, Mr. Hardy. Hi. I am here today to interview about some questions regarding technology. First question is, how is IT incorporated in your life? Okay, I use IT in a lot of areas of my life. I've got a cell phone, laptops and tablets like everyone else. I've got a home theatre PC at home where I have all my movies and TV streaming. Uh, I use Netflix to stream from the internet. So I use the internet to keep in contact with friends and family back home. Using things like Skype, WhatsApp on my phone. So it's a big part of my life like most people. And what are the long-term effects of IT? It's probably a lot of uh, positive and negative side effects of IT. Um, you know, IT has helped the world to move forward in terms of developing uh, medicines and um, for research, connecting people around the world for different types of projects, collaboration. And then you've got the negatives where people are connected to the device all the time and disconnected from the people around them. So I think there's a lot of negatives and positives. And in your opinion, do you believe technology is going to push us forward or backward as a society? And why do you think is your answer to that way? It's hard to tell at the moment. I think that uh, technology again does a lot for society. You know, there's exploration of other planets like Mars, uh, other parts of the solar system you can form new places for mankind to colony for when we perhaps destroy this planet unfortunately. And then you've got the, the current issues with war and uh, nuclear war being created because we have this ability to push a button which could detonate our, our world. So it's to be seen, and I hope that technology is used in the right way to connect people in the right ways and come together as a society and not to destroy mankind, which it does have the power to do. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, after you said all that, I think I'll try to balance my life now with uh, social and 